For this topic, your knowledge of differentiation is extended to include some new differentials, trigonometric, exponential and logarithmic, and three new methods so that you can cope with products, quotients and composite functions, also called functions of functions. Firstly, we shall look at the differentials of e to the x, ln x, sin x and cos x. We shall then use these as we see how to apply the product rule, quotient rule and chain rule. Next, we shall look at how to use the quotient rule to differentiate tan x and the reciprocal trig functions, sec x, cosec x and cot x. We shall finish off with exam style questions, including turning points and equations of tangents and normals. Differential of y equals e to the x. E is a special number in nature, governing the cooling of curves, radioactive decay and population growth amongst others. The reason E occurs in these situations is because E to the x is the differential of itself, that is, if y equals E to the x, then dy by gx also equals E to the x. Differential of y equals ln x. The differential of ln x can be deduced using the fact that it is the inverse of E to the x. Starting with y equals ln x, we write x equals e to the y. Differentiating with respect to y also gives us e to the y. Reciprocating gives dy by gx equals 1 over e to the y, which we can rewrite as 1 over x. Differentials of y equals sine x and cos x. The proof of the differentials of sine x and cos x need not concern us at this stage. Basically, the differential of sine x is cos x, and the differential of cos x is minus sine x. They can be represented in this circle of trigonometric differentiation. So sine gives you cos, cos gives you minus sine, minus sine goes to minus cos, and minus cos goes back to sine. Product rule. The product rule is used for differentiating products, i.e. when one function is multiplied by another. One function is called u and the other v. The formula is as shown with the sum of u multiplied by the differential of v and v multiplied by the differential of u. Let's do an example. We shall differentiate x squared sine x. If u equals x squared, then du by gx equals 2x. If v equals sine x, then dv by gx equals cos x. Substituting in the formula gives us a final answer of x squared cos x plus 2x sine x. Quotient rule. The quotient rule is used for differentiating quotients, i.e. when one function is divided by another. The numerator is called u, and the denominator v. The formula is as shown, v du by gx minus u dv by gx divided by v squared. Let's differentiate cos x over e to the x. u is cos x and du by gx equals minus sine x. v equals e to the x as does dv by gx. Substituting in the formula gives us a final answer of minus e to the x sine x minus e to the x cos x all divided by e to the 2x. Chain rule. The chain rule is used for differentiating composite functions. We write y as a function of t, where t is a function of x, and then use fraction multiplication, i.e. dy by dx equals dy by dt times dt by dx. Let's differentiate y equals 3x plus 4 to the power of 20 for our example. We can write y equals t to the 20, where t equals 3x plus 4. Then dy by dt is 20t to the 19, and dt by dx is 3. Multiply these together, and we get 60, lots of 3x plus 4 to the 19. Note that many memorable results arise from the chain rule. These can all be proven with the rule, but may be better remembered. More trig differentials. Tan x, sec x, cosec x and cot x can all be differentiated by writing them in terms of sin x and cos x and applying the quotient rule. For example, tan x. Write tan x as sin x over cos x. Substituting in the formula, we have cos squared x minus minus sin squared x, which is the same as sin squared x plus cos squared x, which is of course 1. So we actually have 1 over cos squared x, which is sec squared x. Sec x, cosec x and cot x can all be differentiated in a similar way. The table shows all six trig functions with their differentials. Although these may be given to you, it is a good idea to learn them and be aware of them. Later you might need them to use for integration example. To determine the differentials of sine x and cos x, we can use the circle of trigonometric differentiation. Here are some other helpful ways of remembering the table. If a function begins with a c, 
then its differential is negative. Where there's a tan, there's two sex, and where there's a cot, there's two cosex. Techniques needed in exam questions. We shall look at the strategies and solutions for these four questions. Number one. Differentiate y equals x to the 4 sec 3x. Strategy. This is a product containing composite function sec 3x. Let u equal x to the 4 and v equal sec 3x, and then via the product rule, but find the differential of sec 3x using the chain rule before you start. Using the chain rule, we find that the differential of sec 3x is 3 sec 3x tan 3x. We can then incorporate this into our product rule as shown. Number 2. Differentiate y equals 2 plus e to the x sine x, all to the power of 5. Strategy. This is the other way round, with a chain containing a product, e to the x sine x. Let y equal t to the 5, where t equals 2 plus e to the x sine x, the chain rule, but use the product rule to differentiate e to the x sine x. So the differential of e to the x sine x is e to the x cos x plus e to the x sine x, and then this is multiplied by 5t to the power 4 in the chain rule to obtain our final answer. Number 3. Find the turning points of the curve y equals x over 121 plus x squared. Strategy. Differentiate the function using the quotient rule and put the differential equal to 0. Solve the equation to find all possible x values and then substitute them into the original function for y. The quotient rule gives us 121 minus x squared over the square of 121 plus x squared, as shown. And because we are looking for turning points, we put it equal to 0. If we then multiply by the denominator, it gets multiplied by the 0 and leaves us with 121 minus x squared is 0, which of course gives us x is plus or minus 11. Substitute back into the original curve to find y. So 11 divided by 121 plus 11 squared which is also 121, is 11 over 242, which cancels down to 1 over 22. Minus 11 squared is also 121, so the only difference is that the fraction is negative. Number 4. Find the equation of the normal of the curve y equals x plus x ln x at the point where x equals 1. Strategy. Differentiate the function to get the gradient function. Substitute x equals 1 to get the gradient of the tangent, and then reciprocate and change sign for the perpendicular normal gradient. Find y by substituting x equals 1 into the original function, then use y minus y1 is mx minus x1, with the values x1, y1 and m. Differentiating x ln x using the product rule gives us x over x plus ln x, which simplifies to 1 plus ln x. So the differential of x plus x ln x is 1 plus 1 plus ln x, or 2 plus ln x. The equation of the tangent when x is 1 would be 2 plus ln 1, which is 2. For the normal, we need the perpendicular gradient, which is minus 1 half. y itself can be determined by substituting x equals 1 into the original curve, and then we can put the gradient and the x and y values into the formula, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1, as shown. This ends our look at differentiation.